All right, folks, we're going to show you a little piece of reality. <laughs> I'm exempt of nothing. Okay, I'm just like everyone else. I'm going to show you here in live account login. No, not a paper trading account. But this is kind of like to show you that even knowing what I know and the experience I have, just showing you that it's not paper trading, I'm talking to the live side. Okay. Today was one of those national lampoon editions of Forex trading or futures trading rather. <laughs> so it's Monday. Uh, I homeschool my children and my wife and the kids are upstairs doing their normal thing. But the boys thought that it was Sunday. So therefore I shouldn't be trading. And they opened the door up, asked me a couple questions and I, told them to close the door and lock it. So that way my dogs, I have two boxers and Bailey, the youngest, which is very smart. She knows how to open the lever locks in our internal doors. So my youngest didn't lock the door and the dogs were running around upstairs. They know that I'm down in my office. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to concentrate on this NASDAQ today. I gave my, mentorship targets of 14,720 and I'm looking at initial morning run. I'm going to look for the 14,500 in that range overnight long, uh, highs rather. So I'm looking at it and I'm waiting for the market to open at 930. So I'm going to, speed this up obviously it'll go a lot quicker but the the view of the internals of the day i was looking for was a long entry in the morning taking out overnight highs wait for the lunch hour and then i was going to go long again and try to aim for that 14,720 level i give you an annotation here in a little bit i will type out in trading view or well not trading view, but TD Ameritrade text annotation tool. I'm going to type out what my views are, what I'm looking for in a very specific level. And I'm thinking that it's going to draw to 14,640, that liquidity above that high. So I want to wait for 930's opening because that initial volatility, I don't want to get caught off side, which means getting in too early and getting stopped out or pulled into drawdown much more than I'd be willing to absorb. So I'm looking at the lows underneath that 14,430 level, and I'm thinking it's going to drop down below the opening price again, preferably. And if it can do that, that's not what I'm teaching in this futures mentorship, but it's lessons that I actually taught in Forex. So that's why I'm kind of like making this video separate from the mentorship teachings because I don't want anybody thinking that this is something that's being taught in that specific model because it's not, but it is taught already in the lessons in the Forex stuff. But right about now I hear my wife and gentlemen, you probably can relate to this women. You can probably relate to it as well. Uh, but my oldest is instigating with my youngest and they're going back and forth up there and I can hear them. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I gotta, I gotta zone out. So I put music on and I had the music rather loud. Typically in the afternoon, it's not that big of a deal. My wife and kids, they're pretty much done their stuff, but the morning session, I try to use like headphones or whatever, but I didn't want to put the headphones on because I, I want to focus. I'm, dr I'm drawing in on that long. I'm trying to hunt for. So I'm going to type in so that way you can see it wasn't an afterthought that I'm right now I'm, I'm doing an addition or a voiceover. Okay. So I'm, I wasn't talking during any of this and to prove it, this is why I always do this. I actually type out in the platform I'm using what my internal dialogue is, what I'm thinking, what I'm expecting to see. And the whole time my wife's laying into my oldest son upstairs. <laughs> You should leave their brother alone. And I'm hearing all this stuff over the music. So now I'm cranking the music up really loud. So now my wife's getting ticked off because it's too early for that in her mind. 
and maybe it is, but I, I'm now I'm recording, so I have committed myself to this endeavor. So let me just darken this up and make it larger font, change the font color so that we can see very clearly that I see this coming intraday, and I'm looking for that in the morning session. Okay. So what I'm saying is I like the 14,640 level. I think it's going to draw to that. And I want to wait for the 930 opening. Don't want to chase it while it's going up like this. I'm not looking at any of those down close candles as potential bullish order blocks. None of that stuff. I need to see that initial Judas swing. Okay. And you know what that is if you've been studying my Forex content on this channel. If I'm bullish, if I'm thinking it's going to go higher, preferably I want to see some kind of a whipsaw sharp decline lower right at 930. I don't want to see it run higher. That's not what I want to see. I want to see them induce sellers okay, to sucker them into thinking it's going to go lower. I already have committed and co-signed what I think it's going to do here in TD Ameritrade. And it's quarter after nine, about 15 minutes until the opening. And I'm watching again, the lows around that 14,430, 14,420 level. I'm thinking they're going to sweep below those lows. And if it does that, I want to be a buyer. But I don't want to do it ahead of the opening. And I want to watch. I want to see and feel what that opening looks like at 930. Now, in hindsight, some of you armchair critics are going to look at it and say, well, if that's what you thought, why don't you just put a buy limit down there? Because I'm already distracted this morning. And I'm trading distracted. I've already been taken out of my comfort zone. Usually, my family's very, very accommodating. And they'll more or less leave me alone. But my son's came downstairs from waking up and they thought it was Sunday. So they weren't thinking that I'm in my office trading. So we're getting ready to see the decline. I already like what I'm seeing here. At the time of this recording, it's trading at 14,720. So my paid mentorship knows that that was the low end objective I was looking for. Okay, a couple more minutes and the 9.30 equities opening. All right, now we're seeing the opening it's diving down. Now, right now, there's all kinds of ruckus happening, and Bella and Bailey, which are my boxers, they're busting in the door. Now, they're at my feet, trotting around, getting all excited because they want to see me. So I'm, I missed my entry. So now I'm waiting for it to trade above that little short-term low. I'm buying it right there, and I'll put my stop in. So now I'm basically trying to get my wife to get the dogs wrangled up and tell my boys to help her get them. <laughs> I'm talking as I'm doing everything you're seeing right now on the chart. So needless to say, I'm bent out of shape. My wife's looking at me like I'm dead later. And my boys are not any help at all. Okay, so it's like I said, National Lampoon's Forex and Futures Trader uh, episode. <laughs> I mean, if this would have been like a live stream 
Like it would have been gold, comedy gold this morning. It would have been beautiful, but I'm stressed out right now because I'm committed to recording a trade. I wanted to get in here and do the very thing I gave my mentorship, the, the paid mentorship group. I wanted to show them me getting in the trade and I had no intentions of actually sharing this with the YouTube channel, but I thought that it was useful because this is what's going to happen to you as well. You know, you're going to have a family, you're going to have things in your life. It's going to complicate things. Now I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get out up here. And once again, Bella and Bailey, because they didn't lock the door, they closed the door. They bust in once more. Now my wife loses her mind because the boys didn't listen. So I just, that's it. I'm closing it. I, I mark it out of the trade and that's not, there's nothing else I can do. So I can't focus. So I'm going to show you again. Here's the entries. That's the exit. Here's the entry. And that's the time and sales executions. And every time the stop was adjusted in when the limit orders were placed in. So again, real world things happen like that. Even for me, I'm not exempt from it, but, uh, you know, hopefully <laughs> I don't have another one of those episodes this week. Cause I want to kind of like zone in, but nonetheless, hopefully this has been insightful and maybe uplifting for some of you to have these types of things happen for you again, no simulated trades.